Hey guys, it's Mei Mei. And if you saw my live video on Thursday, I made a card for my son's birthday and it was a basketball that we made using some dies. This is a stitch circle die that is by Brutus Monroe and I used this set to do it. And so many of you asked for different sports themed balls out of the circle that I have challenged myself and I'm gonna do you an array of them right now. So we're gonna get started, okay? So all you're gonna need, I've got some, I've got a white pen, I've got a pencil and a black pen. So you've got those, you're gonna need those. I've got two dies. This is a two inch circle die and this is a one inch circle die. So that's what I'm gonna be using and my ruler. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna be using the very same shape all throughout, but I thought I would show you how to cut the shape in case you've never seen um, one of these dies before, you don't know. This is a cuddle bug machine. It cuts out these dies and I've been cutting them. Look, you can see I've got some prepped. I'm gonna put this paper in here and I'm gonna lay down that die. I'm using my A plate, my magnetic plate, a B plate, and then on top I'm gonna put another B plate on there. Then I'm just gonna run this through and cut this out. Now again, we're gonna use this very same shape for all of the sports theme, um, sport balls that we're gonna make today. So, bring this out so we can look at it. Set that aside. Okay, so when you do this, what you get is this little cutout. And the reason I like to use the dies because I like to have the stitches around the edge. I think it seem, makes it seem really sporty, really like the real deal. And so that's what you'll need to start with. All of them start with the same thing today, okay? So here is one. I'm gonna zoom you guys in for this so you can see what we're gonna be doing. Now I've got you zoomed in pretty close, but I want you to be able to see everything we're doing. The first ball we're gonna make today is a volleyball. And let me show you how this works. I'm gonna center this guy on my cutting mat and I'm gonna get my pencil and let me get my lead out of there, <laughs> get the lead out. I'm gonna draw a line down the center one way very lightly because we don't need this permanently. It's just like a starting point for us. Then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna draw a line down the middle the other way. Very lightly again, don't need it permanently there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same die that I cut this one with, all right? And I'm going to, I'm gonna go away from my pencil and go to my pen. I do not need the pencil anymore because this is gonna make the volleyball lines. Starting with that center there that I've got that little crosshatch center, make sure you can see it. I'm gonna take this die that I used to cut the circle and I'm just gonna place it at the center point and let it just kind of um, curve out away from that center point, okay? I want my pen nib to be on that center cross section and give myself a curve from the center to the edge. And I'm gonna move this and let you see what it looks like, okay? So there's that on the cross line. Only one of them will be done this way. The other two we're gonna do in the middle of the cross line. So I'm gonna turn this around, okay? So you do one on the line, then these two go in the middle. So I'm gonna go back to my center point and just here, make a curve. It's really easy, y'all, it really is. Then I'm gonna turn it again, and in between here, I'm gonna make another curve. So at my center point and curve, dot in the middle, and just like that. So that's the shape I'm looking for to start, all right? Then what we're gonna do, it's so easy, using this die again, I've used this thing like crazy. I'm gonna line it up on the other side of any one of those lines I've made, and I'm gonna trace, okay? I'm gonna pick it up, move it, line it up on the other side. Doesn't it, it's not gonna match perfectly, you just wanna be close, because you just want the angle that you're getting. Trace it, keep going, line it up, and trace it. And then one more time here, line it up. And I'm just gonna get that little bit at the top, but it does matter. So there's one side, okay? Now I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna go back to that curve line I made and I'm gonna do the same thing all the way throughout. You're gonna be so surprised how much this looks like a volleyball when we're finished. It is so cool. I love when things like this work. So if you need a volleyball for one of your cards, any size circle will do, just use the same die to do it. Look, one more time, we're gonna go to that other line we did, that little curved line, and I'm gonna trace it. And we have just created a little paper volleyball for a card or for a treat bag or for anything. Isn't that cute? Now, you do want to erase your little um, pencil marks. I'm gonna use my mono eraser and just lightly go over that. That's why you wanna make your pencil marks real light so you can get those off of there. 
just like so, and I'm gonna turn it around and come back this way, get my pencil line off, just like that, and then that is my volleyball. How cool is that, right? Super easy, volleyball, one done. Let's go to the next one. All right, I'm gonna make a tennis ball. Now, I'm using the same die to cut this shape, but now I'm gonna go to that one inch die I told you we were gonna need, okay? So I'm not gonna use this one this time. I'm gonna go to this one inch die, and I'm gonna need my white pen, obviously, because tennis balls have white lines. I'm gonna take this circle, and I'm just gonna kinda place it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. I'm gonna put my finger to the back of the circle, and I'm gonna trace all of this where my finger isn't. Okay, so my finger is kinda my guide. Just like this, I'm going very careful because I don't wanna move anything, all right? I'm gonna let this sit for just a second so my ink dries, because if you move it right now, you can smear your ink. Trust me, I learned it the hard way. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. Oh, well, I've lifted it with my finger so I can move it. So there's that part. Then we're gonna come back here to the back of it and we're just gonna trace, let me turn it this way, it'll be easier. To the back, I'm gonna lay my little die down again to the edge of my first trace mark and I'm gonna trace it off in a circle all the way off the ball, okay? So there's one side and now let's do the other. And I'll be sure to bring this up to the camera in just a second because it's really hard to see this white on this yellow. But as long as you see what I'm doing, so I'm taking my die to the edge of that circle, okay? And I'm going to trace it back to the edge till it goes off of the ball. Look at that, it's a tennis ball. Let me hold it up to the uh, camera for you so you can see it. How cool, right? Anyone would recognize what that is. So there's your tennis ball. I'm gonna put it aside. Now I want to show you a baseball. Now this one's super easy, and actually you need a red pen. Let me pull my red pen over. I should have told you that. You're gonna need a red pen for this. Here's how a baseball works. You're gonna take the same die you started with, okay? We're gonna go to one side, just like this, and I'm going to trace it with a red. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use my cutting guide, uh, my cutting board to help me here. So I'm gonna lay this about about where my die touches the quarter of an inch line there, just looking at it. I'm gonna trace this in red, just like so. I'm gonna turn it around and do it the same way. The reason I'm turning it is because I'm right-handed and I don't wanna have to fight with it on the other side. Looking at that, that's a half an inch line, by the way, so just lining it with that line, doing this. Look at that, so easy. And now all we need to do is put our little stitches in. And I'm just going to freehand those and I haven't even looked at a picture of a ball, so I may be doing these stitches wrong, but from memory, this is how a baseball goes. <laughs> can you imagine how many possibilities there are for you now? You can just take a circle and turn it into all of the sports themed items that your family plays. I know I have a basketball player. We have a friend that plays volleyball. I have children in my church that play baseball. So I'm gonna turn this around and do the stitching again. Then I'm gonna show you some more. So there is your baseball, super easy. That one's super, super easy. So baseball. Now we're gonna make a bowling ball. Black pen, this is a blue circle with that same die we used earlier, okay? And I'm just gonna make some little black circles in three spots. I'm doing one here, do one here, and then you're gonna drop down for the thumb, something like this. Now it can kinda of look like a face, but if you're doing this on a card that's themed like a bowling ball, They'll know what it is. That's open circles, but you can also color them in. And if you have someone in your family that bowls, maybe you could match their actual bowling ball and make it look like theirs, right? So there's a bowling ball, super easy. Now let's do a basketball again. I know I showed you in my live show the other day how to do the basketball, but I thought if you didn't see it, I would show you how here so you'd know how to do it in the future. All right, so here's the deal with the basketball, so easy. The first thing, you're gonna make a line with your marker down the middle of the basketball, and this line needs to be a straight line, so we're not curving this line. Just this one is straight, okay? Then we're gonna take our die again, and to one side, I'm going to make a curve over here, almost like we did the baseball, actually just like we did the baseball. So my marker's not wanting to do it, there we go. So there's that curve. Then I'm gonna turn it again, because I'm right-handed and I don't wanna fight with it, so I'm just gonna turn this like this for you to see it. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Basketball is so easy. Another curve like this. Oops, I got a divot there. Okay, another curve. And then one more, we're gonna turn it. And then just about halfway in the middle, you wanna do another curved line. So just like this around your die. 
And believe it or not, you got a basketball. How cool, right? So there's a basketball. Let's do another one. Now I'm really pushing it, okay? I want to do a billiard ball. So I'm going back to that one inch, okay? I'm gonna come to the kind of top of this little piece and I'm gonna draw a circle on the inside of this die. So I'm just tracing the inside of the die, all right? And I'm gonna move that away. Then I'm gonna take a Sharpie marker or a black marker, whatever you've got close by. I'm gonna use my scratch paper from where I was cutting all my circles out. And I'm gonna color everything except that center circle that we did. Now, you could certainly just cut another circle and lay it on top if you wanted to use a black circle, but I just thought this would be cute. We wanted to act, you know, be purist. We want to turn this actually into a billiard ball. So I'm just going to color this and we'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, before we go away, let's say you wanted to do a nine ball. Maybe you have family that plays nine ball tournaments or something like that. You could do this in yellow and get a nine ball instead of doing just the black eight ball, which is iconic. So I got this guy colored pretty good. I didn't do real great around there, but my marker wasn't really made for this. But check this out. I'm going to take an eight from my clickable letters and my clickable numbers, and I'm just gonna stamp the number eight in that billiard ball. Look how cute that is. I love that. So you can make the whole set, especially if you use like a smaller die. So there is your billiard ball. All right, we've got one more to look at, and it's a tough one, okay? I'm gonna bring over the brown, and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a football. How are we gonna make a football out of this circle? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this um, piece, I'm gonna put it back into the die, just get it seated in there, okay? And then I'm going to take my pencil, and my cutting mat, again, I'm gonna line this up and I'm gonna put a circle, I mean, a, a mark at the top in the middle and a mark at the bottom in the middle. Okay, so they're going across from each other. So let me bring this to the camera so you can see that. So a mark on either side, here and also here, okay? Now we need to go back to our cuddle bug. So I'm back to my cuddle bug, okay? I've got an A plate, the magnetic plate, the B plate. I'm gonna take this die, and this time, instead of laying it all around like I did to cut the circle, I'm gonna slide the die down to those little marks that I made on either side. Just kind of lining it up with those marks, just like this, okay? And then we're gonna cut that out. So let me get my other B plate. Gonna run that in here and just sandwich that. You might wanna use some washi tape to hold that in place or something, but I'm just letting my magnetic um, cutting plate do it. So run that through. Did I tell you we were making a football? I think I did, <laughs> but you probably figured out from the brown. So I don't need this little piece so I can get rid of that. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna do it on the other end. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna lay it onto my cutting mat Using those that I did right there, I'm gonna line this die up, the inside mark, with my pencil marks I made, just like so. Okay, so I'm lining those up in there. And then, I'm gonna run this one through. Let's get this off of here. We don't need that little piece. There is that, and look, it's cute. It's a chubby little football. So, then you just need your white pen and what I'm gonna do is at the top, I'm gonna take my die and I'm gonna line it up at the top. I'm gonna trace a little line with my white pen, just like this. So that gets me my thread line, okay? And then I'm just gonna run across it just like this to give me the football look. And the higher you put your threads, the rounder your football will appear, right? So check that out. Let me bring these in to the camera so you can see all of them. That's all I'm gonna do today. And I know you're gonna ask me for a soccer ball, but I haven't figured that one out yet. And when I do, I'll come back and do the soccer ball. So let's bring all of these guys in. There is our volleyball, our tennis ball, our football, our billiard ball, our basketball, and our bowling ball. All of them right there. I think that's super cool. And now you have lots of ways to get things done that you need for cards and things in your world for your sports-themed friends. Cool, right? Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you make any of these guys, I want to see it. Two places you can share it with me. Over on my Facebook group, which is called May May Made It and So Did I or on our customer gallery, which is at maymaymadeit.com. We love to see what you make that I can inspire you to do. Thanks so much and have a great weekend. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.